Welcome back to the broadcast. Traumatic brain, traumatic brain injuries, or TBI, are getting a lot of attention these days. The truth is, TBIs happen once every 16 seconds in America. In the story you're about to see, a North Texas man was basically given no hope of life after a car crash nearly killed him. But he did survive, and he's now helping others cope with traumatic brain injuries. Don Wall reports for us. Nice job. For the first time in two years, Michael Black, known as the Bean, takes a few steps backwards, which is a huge step forward. All eight. Nice. Not four. Woo. <laughs> two years ago in Florida, Michael was thrown from his car, landed on his head, and suffered a traumatic brain injury. His parents were told he wouldn't make it through the night. He was in a coma for six weeks. But through daily therapy and a tremendous attitude, he continues to make good progress. He was told things like, you're going to be a vegetable um, the rest of your life. And he has um, blown any and all statements like that out of the water. Eventually, he was able to go back to the trauma center where he was first treated. Really, they gave us no hope at the time. So to see him walk in and to see him where he is today, he truly is a miracle. But there's been a lot of angels and help along the way to get him here. How do you keep smiling through something like this? Uh, I don't really know, but it's just I got an attitude that I'm going to get better. Things are going to get better. I've already been through the worst, worst hump you, know, you can go to. Michael has been treated extensively here in North Texas, even getting oxygen therapy at the hyperbaric centers of Texas. And while he struggles with his motor skills, the Bean's mind is just as good as ever. And so he decided, with his mother's help, to build a website for other people suffering traumatic brain injuries. It's called Trimunity. It's like Facebook, and more than a thousand people have signed up to chat. That's why they have, like, their, their friends or something will sign up and find find comfort talking to people that have been through the same thing that are s still living and survived every day michael undergoes more grueling physical therapy and every day he talks with others who are trying to recover from their traumatic brain injuries he offers comfort and advice just don't michael quit. and his mom bernadette are here and we'll be talking to them next when the broadcast returns <laughs> 